So this is my new to me 2004 Yamaha R6. Um, I just got it like last week. No, like like two weeks ago. And I love it. I moved up from a um, 2013 Ninja 300. And literally I got that like <laughs> two months ago. And then I sold it because I rode my friend's R6 and it completely changed my perception of fucking bikes. Um, don't get me wrong, the 300 was like, it was cool, like it was tight. It was like, you hit the throttle and it goes, but nearly doesn't go as well as like obviously this bike. Um, I really like the bike trying to think of cons cons about this bike is like i'll be if i take off really quick the handlebar kind of shakes a little bit but my when i my friend said he had the same problem and he said he just put a stabilizer on it and that everything was cool um and everything like worked fine what else anything else no okay i'll go to pros so what i like about this bike is obviously it's a super sport 600 takes off like nothing um it's so much fun, like, it's like you're fucking flying, like, and you can get out of, I mean, a lot of people said that th they think it's better that you start on, like, a smaller bike, so you learn, like, all, all the, you learn basically how to ride and all the techniques that you need to ride without just going on the street, like, some people get, like, a thousand, and they think they're badass, and they go on the street, and they crash that shit the first day, but, like, honestly, I'm happy that I started on the 300, um, I learned a lot off of it, and it really makes you appreciate a bigger bike when you get it, like, because you know what it was from, like, the start, and you know, like, how the speed, like, you, okay, you, honestly, you, you, you appreciate it a lot, um, and that's something I really liked about it, um, let me kind of turn it on so you can see how it starts, what did I do with the keys, and then I also installed some LED glow lights, they're pretty nice. I'll show you them right now. Um, so that's how it starts up. And then I have the LEDs on the toggle right here. So you switch that on. And then I have the remote ledglow.com. You get them there. Basically push it. Bam. So I didn't have a light originally here, so that I, th I thought, okay, like, I might as well just get the whole kit, put them on there, and I won't have to worry about not getting a light, because I already have one with the whole kit, and it looks badass, like, especially at night, trust me, a lot of people turn heads, like, you, it's fucking tight, um, but I have lights right there, two ones under there, the one over there, and the side ones right here, um, eventually I'll get maybe a bigger kit, I don't know yet, and then put one right here in the front. But either way, it looks fucking badass. Very badass. Um, oh, this is my Mustang GT. This is also my baby. Um, show you her real fast. It's 2003 Mustang GT. I got, got the flo dual flow master. Two chrome pipes. I got tinted out tail lights, um, tinted windows, five percent in the front. Got the Cobra rims. Got the red got the calipers. Um, professionally painted this down a stripe. I got the front lip on there. HID conversion kit, front fog and top. Got the Mustang logo right there. Uh, insides. It's a peanut butter interior. I also have the same LED kit in here. I got blue. Looks pretty cool. Sorry, it's kind of messy. I don't know. I gotta clean it. I wish I got the bike. I'm kind of like on that all the time. Um, but yeah, you can change up the different things. Very cool LED glow as well. And that too. Stick shift manual. Um, this is also very fast, but like I said, once you ride a bike, it's nothing compared to a car. So yeah, let me know if you have any questions. Um, and let me
Let me show you. Yeah, it's my bike. 